physique check. It is October 23rd, and on this day last year, I decided to pack up all my stuff in Kentucky and come down here to Tampa. Now I've got this awesome office that we're going to utilize today. It's time to take down some food. So, by the looks of it, looks over 12,000 calories, and I'll get into it more later on what is what, and what is good, and what is not. But... It's just over seven pounds, seven and a quarter pounds. So this is gonna be good. I dropped six pounds overnight. It's time to refuel after a hardcore training day. Let's get it. Here, my friends, is the collection for the Halloween Mukbang 2023. Just under eight pounds of good old Walmart bakery section got to get the little halloween donuts the pumpkin spice everything nice even a little caramel apple in there and what butterscotch crampets i don't even know what those are but we're about to tear them up baby i missed my post-workout window so it's time to dust it baby the raccoon is out the blue light blockers are on and i'm in the zone i haven't had to cheat in about a week so Let's get into it. Thank you, Lord, for this meal. Let's dig in. All right, gotta start out with the monster cookies, guys. Come on now. But I need to start this timer first. Ready, go. I'm not gonna try to do anything too crazy, but I know some people like to know what's going on, so. And I've got this electric desk to conveniently raise and cover my belly so let's get in on the monster cookies you got to have monster cookie on halloween mm. and i did that mukbang challenge or i did that uh cookie challenge not too long ago my mouth is just now healing for that but these are very soft no crispies on these Mmm. I got some almond milk too, guys. Probably need more than a half a gallon. I lied. Those M&Ms can be sharp. <laughs> I just caught one. I got my little French press action over here. Hot and ready, baby. To take down some of this sugar. I meant to get decaf, but messed around and forgot, my friend. So, might need the caffeine to get through this anyway. Especially this big heater. That's a 36 ouncer. We better get in on that while it's cold. By the way, guys, this pie is the second highest calorie of the event. There's my little list I just made. How many servings? And how many calories per serving for the grand total there. So it's looking like the pie and the the pie and the poppums. The poppums is actually the highest calorie thing here. A pound of these fudge covered donuts. It's time to get nah, I need to get some cookies down first. Here's a three botter. It's like it's a guy. Mmm. What about y'all? Do y'all like to mix up your foods as you're eating them, or do you like to knock down a section at a time? I've always been a section at a time, hence why I'm dusting these cookies off first. 
comment down below. I want to know. Together or separate? Man, do y'all think I can eat all this? This is a lot. It might not be that much weight, but it's a lot of volume. Actually, anything over seven pounds, I like to prepare for. By eating less the day before. I haven't done any stomach stretching. Um, I'll start that when Nathan's gets closer. I love sugar cookies, so I think that's why I like these. Basically like a sugar cookie with M&Ms in it. Mm. I'm all about that blondie base. You know what I'm saying? Little milk. Let's see which donut's better. We got caramel apple donuts here. It's gonna be caramel apple versus rich frosted donut holes. Ooh, we got a little lift tab on this. This is a brick right here. I'm sure I didn't open it right. Inamans, but I appreciate you telling me to rip it there. Wow. Wow, those are heavy. Mmm. It's like a little donut hole covered in chocolate. And that was the raccoon method. At all costs. Whatever it takes to get it in, get it in. Raccoon's getting loose, baby. Come on. How you doing? Keep it moving. As this food just disappears from sight, you're going to be left with a big belly. Some people like that. Some people like to see the hard work. Stretch that sucker out. See what that capacity is all about. And this thing's being a little stubborn here. So I think I'm just going to tear into them. I think it's some type of... What kind of contraption is this? There we go. Hmm. I'm not sure I'll taste the caramel apple. Hmm. They're good. They're a little bit more dry than these Intamins. So maybe we put a little Intamin on top of a tasty cake. That's where that Jawser size comes in right there, my friend. I got a Jawser size video coming soon. How to improve your facial structure. How to relieve anxiety. A lot more beneficial things. My friends, this is going to be a lot. I'm not even kidding you. Man, that pumpkin pie is going to hit. I'm not looking forward to the moon pies. Let me know if y'all like this setup. 
I got this um, on Facebook Marketplace. A little electric desk. Look at this. Let's go to the side. Come on down, baby. You need to get it up high, that belly. There we go. Got it maxed out. All right. That's some poundage. Dry poundage. <laughs> All right. I haven't had a big capacity bill in a week or two. Make sure you check out that real good food one because that sucker was 10 pounds. That hurt. But it wasn't cakey like this stuff is. This is kind of sitting like cement. Oh, three more. Go. That bite, my body was refusing to like, with the sweets, come on dog, it's a little too much. But that's where you as a competitor, when things get tough, that's when you know, hey, uh-uh, brain, we ain't doing that. We're not doing that, we're not playing that game. Because if you let this go, game over. I might be talking different here in a minute, but <laughs> let's get this pumpkin pie, baby. I love pumpkin pie so much. I did the uh, World Pumpkin Pie Eating Championship a couple times. I guess I'll have to drink it. Oh, my goodness. I'm definitely going to have to drink that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, dog. Are you supposed to bake this? Or what? I don't think you're supposed to. Cook thoroughly. What? Can you uh, get sick from eating an uncooked pumpkin pie? Let's find out. Too late now. Gosh, what, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Tastes good, but we got to cook. Maybe some eggs or something. Wow. Now we just got to eat this dough. Is it okay to eat this dough uncooked? I don't know. We'll find out. Protect me, Jesus. Cheer. Dun to the down. Sometimes I gotta tell myself swallow faster. So when I get a little full, I sit there and tend to just want to chew on it. It's like, all right, you got to get it back if you're going to eat it. Don't try this at home, folks. I'm a professional. 
number seven in the world currently as a professional competitive eater. My claim to fame is finishing fifth at Nathan's this year. So we're getting better. I started like 36 in the world. And I worked my way up to seventh. So it took me like three years to do that. Whoo! That crust is sweet. Dang, that was sweet. Sheesh, what we got left? What are these crampets? I need a break. I need something to stimulate me. I need something to motivate me. I don't know about those moon pies. That's pretty artificial. About as artificial as it gets. But they're made in Tennessee, so we might try it. Whoa. That's sweet to get nice to wake up. Because there's a lot going on here with the icing. Four minutes deep on the raccoon sesh. My body's getting tired of these. Too much icing. Getting a little flavor fatigue. I need some different flavors up here. I'm getting butter scotched. Caramel apple pumpkin spiced out, baby. Woo! So these crimpets are pretty light, but also dense at the same time, if that makes sense. So this right here in my hand is 220 calories. 39 carbs. 26 of which are sugar. And I will be checking my sugar in the morning and monitoring how I eat carbs based on my blood sugar level in the morning. So, yeah, I know eating all this sugar, yeah, it's not good, it's dangerous, but uh, it's what I do and it's, uh, hopefully if it's entertaining to you, then show me some love, like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next. I enjoy doing it. This is, uh, you know, God kind of carved out a path for me in the fitness and food industry and uh, I'm just blessed to uh, be doing what I'm doing and uh, hopefully this entertains you because it's entertaining me. I don't think I could have done that without coffee so if you're eating any crimpets this Halloween let's do it should I do this or the moon pies hey I'm being weak guys I'm being weak this is a lot of sugar your body gets tired of it Now those taste pretty clean. Not a bunch of extra sugar. Not clean, but you know what I'm saying. 17 fat, 48 carb. There is 27 sugar in there somehow. They just don't taste nothing like those crimpets. <laughs> those crimpets, boy, shoot. Diabetes Central. Stay off the crampets. I think I know what I'm going to do, guys. I 
I think I'm going to give the moon pies out on Halloween. That's what I'm going to do. If they can get past the beware of dog sign that is just warning them of a dog that gets out in the backyard every now and then training some folks. Um, if they can get past that sign and not step on my watermelon plant and uh, yeah, I think I'll uh, I think I'll bless them with a good old moon pie. I don't need to eat all that anyway. Hey, I watched something earlier. There's a, a few uh, ingredients you gotta look out for, and uh, this might have some of those in there. The state of California just banned a bunch of different stuff. Skittles and some uh, fruit roll-ups and like junk food. Tell me if y'all like this setup right here. Um, probably should have a light over there. Ring light. I got one right here. Get my ceiling light on. Last one, guys. Last meal of the Halloween mukbang. I could do those moon pies, but I ain't really feeling it. You know what I'm saying? I think 10,000 plus calories and six and a half pounds is good for the night. I think I'm good. <laughs> what well, y'all think? Y'all think I'm good or what? Thank you, a little slide. If I do more mukbangs, I'm curious to hear this audio. Mm, especially right there. <laughs> Hey, let's go ahead and polish this off. About two or three pounds in there. Uh, actually, this is a three liter. A gallon is a uh, 3.74, I think, or 7.6 liters. So yeah, it's about a couple pounds in there. At least it'll make the before and after look better. We'll go ahead and stop this. I can still hold it in a little bit. Now that's filling the tank. Wow, that was a lot of food, guys. Believe it or not. All we got left is the moon pies. Those are 12 ounces. So. Whew. Made about six and a half pounds. It was going to be 7.25 total with all of it. Oh, that's relaxed. <sighs> Trying to hold it in. Ah. 
All right, guys. There you have it. That's how I'm celebrating Halloween this year. If you got any more ideas, drop them below. I'm going to keep content coming, guys, as long as y'all keep sending it to your friends and saying, look at this crazy dude. Look, he's got the hiccups and got 10 pounds of food in his belly. Well, welcome to my channel, Dreamweaver Fit. We're going to eat big. We're going to train big. We're going to do everything big, baby. Because uh, God made a way for me to glorify his name. So that's the path we're taking. To the top, baby. Until next time. We're out.